protein shakes these days, it's $100 per container. Now what makes this protein shake different than any other is the cheapest protein shake. You see, I use the peels, I use the eggshells, all it is, extra nutrients and extra food. Why waste? Did this man really just put a used banana peel inside of his protein shake? This isn't freaking Mario Kart. You can't just put the banana peel wherever you want it. And I don't even want to talk about the eggshells, man. That could give you freaking salmonella. You know, I never really understood why bodybuilders and people trying to build muscle always put raw eggs inside of their protein shakes. Like, bro, that's disgusting. Also, is it way too big of a deal to buy a brand new pack of bananas? They're like 75 cents a pound, bro. They're not that expensive. And I'm not gonna lie, guys, this dude kind of scares me a little bit. He literally eats raw eggshells for breakfast. If I walk into the gym and I see this guy pull out a bag of eggshells and start snacking on them, I'm gonna walk right out, bro. I'm never working out again. That's just a little bit too intense for me. Anyways, what is up, guys? It's your boy Lofi here, and today I'm pretty sure that I have found the cheapest man in the entire world. That's not even a joke, by the way. This man has his mom shave his entire head so that he doesn't have to spend money on shampoo and conditioner, which, if you think about it, is actually kind of smart, but not really, because instead of using shampoo on your head, you're gonna have to use regular soap to wash your head, bro. So either way, you're using the same amount of product all over your body. Also, before we start this video off, I just want to say if you get grossed out really easily, then don't watch this video because this guy does some pretty gross stuff to save money. Also, you guys should go follow my Twitch. I'm going to be streaming Minecraft with my girlfriend tonight. So, uh, yeah, come watch. All right, now that I got that out of the way, let's get right into the video. To the best and cheapest protein shake ever. You know that this guy is lying whenever he has the same look on his face that I have when I'm drinking cough syrup. Like, I don't imagine that a banana peel and eggshell flavored protein shake tastes very good. I am Matt Rivera, and I'm the cheapest wrestler in the world. So wait, this guy's name is Matt, he's bald, and he's trying to become really good at sports. Sounds kind of familiar, don't you think? Since beginning his career six years ago, Matt's managed to cut his spending down to just $300 a month mostly by moving in with his mother in Orange County, New York. How does he go about only spending $300 a month, bro? That's how much I spend on my car insurance. I mean, he does live with his mom, but like, how old is this dude, man? I still live with my mom, but I just graduated high school, dude. It's different. And I keep my tissues right here by the window so the sun can hit them. I might blow my nose, let them air out dry, and reuse it again. Hold up, this guy reuses tissues? I'm looking at these tissues on the shelf, bro, and they look so nasty and soggy, bro. How old are these? It looks like he's done a little bit more than just blow his nose into those tissues, if you know what I mean. I swear to God, if this guy also reuses his toilet paper or his wipes, I'm literally gonna have to leave the planet. I refuse to live on this earth while this guy is over here reusing tissues and toilet paper. If they're really wet, I might wring them out first. I might save a few dollars a week. A few dollars a week? What kind of tissues are you buying, bro? I know you live in New York, but tissues are not that expensive. You don't even have to buy name brand. Just go to your nearest Dollar Tree, bro, and get a box of tissues for literally one dollar. I know that this guy said he was cheap, but this isn't saving money, bro. This is just straight up disgusting. I don't call my son cheap. I call my son frugal. I know everybody else says he's cheap. I think it's being creative. You just gotta love that this mom is being so supportive of her son and trying to make sure that everybody sees him in a positive light. But deep down, even she knows that her son is freakishly cheap. Like that whole thing with the tissues, man, I, I don't even want to talk about that again. Also, what does frugal even mean, bro? I've never heard that word in my entire life. All right, so with a quick Google search, I found out that frugal is an adjective that means sparing or economical with regard to money or food. So basically, it's just a fancy word for cheap. I actually only own two pairs of underwear. I'm wearing one right now, and this is my second pair. So, I'm gonna do something called the sniff test. How does this man survive with only two pairs of underwear? This guy says he wants to be a professional wrestler, right? So that means that this guy is on the daily wrestling on the ground with hot, sweaty dudes. I can guarantee you right now that those underwear smell like booty cheeks, bro. There is no amount of Febreze or air freshener in the entire world that could make those smell good. It's wearable. I can wear it again. No, 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 no. Do not wear those underwear. This guy probably has so many rashes on his junk from wearing dirty underwear that he has no feeling down there whatsoever. Just a personal hygiene tip for you guys. If you get really sweaty and nasty, take a shower and change clothes. Do not wear a single bit of that outfit that you wore when you got all disgusting and sweaty again. I feel like I shouldn't have to say this, bro. This is a grown-ass man, and he doesn't even know how personal hygiene works. I feel really bad for this guy's mom because she has live in a house that probably smells like a middle school boy's locker room. Mom, can you help me shave? Mom! 
There's nothing I won't do to save a couple bucks. Hold up. Does this guy really have his mom come help him shave? Bro, I don't know if your dad was in your life or not, okay? But I didn't have a dad to teach me how to shave, all right? But I was able to figure out on my own. How are you over the age of 20 and don't know how to shave yourself? That's honestly just really sad. Look up. I shave my head. It's cost efficient. No shampoo, no barber, no conditioner. And on top of that... I look tough. Yeah, this image right here doesn't make you look so tough, bro. How are you supposed to further your career as an intimidating professional wrestler when all someone has to do is Google search your name and they find a picture of your mom shaving you? Yeah, I'm so intimidated by the guy who has to call his mom to help groom him. Honestly, I feel pretty bad for this guy. I remember whenever I was in like fourth grade and I forced my mom to stop doing my hair for me. And keep in mind, I have super long curly hair and in fourth grade, I didn't know what the hell to do with it. So almost every day for that entire year, I went to school with the most whack ass looking hairdos. But you know what? I didn't care because I was proud of the fact that I was doing it myself. This guy, I bet he can't even walk down the street without feeling ashamed knowing that the only reason why his head looks like it does is because his mom does it for him. Okay, slower. Slower, please. <laughs> Make me nervous. Oh, you're such a chicken. Uh, slower, please. Bro, how are you supposed to be a tough, intimidating wrestler when you get scared by your mom shaving your head? Like, the original video got over 3 million views last time I saw it. So that means that over 3 million people know how much of a put this guy is. This guy's entire wrestling career got ended the second he decided to let this be uploaded to the internet. I can't even imagine how this dude must feel right now. All those banana peels he drank, all those tissues he reused for what? Absolutely nothing. Me and my mom are, like, best friends. She still does almost everything for me. She helps me shave. Can you uh, help me shave my back too? She buys all my food and I just take it. This guy has taken mommy's boy to a completely different level. There comes a time in every man's life where he has to tell his mom to stop washing his underwear and go and figure things out for himself. This man clearly hasn't reached that level yet. If my no dad have an ass can be almost completely self-sufficient at 18, then I'm pretty sure that this grown man can too. Come on, man, I'm working a full-time job and supporting myself and my family while trying out this whole YouTube thing. Get on my level, bitch. I will do whatever Matthew needs to save as much as he can. I'm pretty much a sucker when it comes to his mom can you do this for me all right so this means that it's not entirely my boy matthew's fault that he is the way he is i remember the second i turned 16 my mom was like hey you know those things that you like doing you know marching band all that good <gasps> uh go pay for that yourself the second i turned 16 my mom practically forced me to go get a job and i'm really glad she did because it made me have a pretty strong work ethic at least when it came to making money i never did my homework in school i honestly don't know how i was able to graduate like my grades were really good but like i missed so much school because how many classes i would skip or just days that i would take off that i know for certain i did not meet the minimum requirements for how many days you have to be in school i'm only gonna say this once stay in drugs drink your school and don't do milk and for the youtube bot scanning this video right now that was a joke by the way please don't demonetize my video i really need that two dollars of ad revenue bro i don't want to end up like this dude here having to reuse tissues and eat banana peels and stuff in professional wrestling body hair in the ring is frowned upon wrestlers can pay close to twenty five hundred dollars a year on hair removal i thought this guy was supposed to be a tough professional wrestler but yet every time his mom rips it off he flinches and screams like a little girl not to be sexist but i'm just saying it's like if the rock was scared of the dark bro it just doesn't match you can't have all those muscles and claim to be so tough and then be such a little bitch why do you insist on waxing your whole entire body anyway gotta look like a greek god Greek god. Yep, all for wrestling. A Greek god? Who does this guy think he is? Freaking Zeus? This guy is the exact opposite of a Greek god. It looks like my boy Matthew here has read one too many Percy Jackson books, if you ask me. Also, if he wants to be more intimidating, he should go for trying to be like a Roman god, okay? The Roman gods were a lot more scary than the Greek ones. I'm not even joking. Like, the Greek god of sleep, you know, he was pretty chill. All he really did was help people sleep and relax and stuff. But like, the Roman iteration of him? That guy was freaking scary, bro. If he fell asleep on the job, he would just straight up kill you. Now that's tough and intimidating this cup i actually borrowed from another wrestler for a specific match and it's a uh, pretty old he actually let me keep it. For those of you women out there or younger guys out there that are watching this video who don't know what a cup is, it's a little protective piece that goes over your junk so that if you get hit in the balls, it doesn't hurt. This guy borrowed one of those from another guy and then after I don't know how many years because he said it was old, he just picked it up and sniffed it. This guy's out here indirectly smelling another dude's balls. What was he trying to do? See if it passes the sniff test? Matt really balances the costs of being a wrestler with his overall cheapness yo why does his brother look like mark zuckerberg like dead ass i know it's a meme to say mark zuckerberg is an alien but if he is that means this boy's an alien too and if there's two of them that must mean they're more there's gonna be a freaking alien invasion we're all gonna die
There you go. For most professional wrestlers, the cost of a gym membership and personal training are That's mandatory okay. expenses. But with homemade equipment, Matt saves more than $2,000 a year. All right, I'm not going to lie. The homemade bench press thing is actually kind of innovative, but that's just 40 pounds, bro. How much muscle are you actually going to gain with that? Also, this dude has his freaking mom spotting him, bro. <laughs> I can't. Going to a regular gym, $50 for what? For them to have machines similar to the ones that I make in my basement? It's a waste of money. I should charge people to come to my gym. Bro, nobody's going to come to your gym, except maybe homeless people. We received a call from Kentucky, and... For what I heard, TNA wants to give you stop an addition. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. TNA, like the fake wrestling network TNA. So you're telling me that this entire time, this guy has been training to be the next John Cena. I can't believe that this entire time I thought this man was trying to be like an actual wrestler. I should have known the second I saw the boxing ring. I don't know how reusing tissues makes you the next Rey Mysterio, but if it works, it works. Okay, so basically this guy goes on the road trip to Kentucky. He decides to drive there because it's cheaper. And then when he stops for gas, he decides to haggle for the price. Nobody haggles for gas prices. That's something that's usually a set price. It doesn't change unless the manufacturers decide to change. It. I can't walk into Walmart, see a bag of Cheez-Its for $150, and then tell the cashier I only want to pay $0.75 cents for it. That's not how that works. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, smash a fat like on it, and if you're new, subscribe, or not, it's up to you. But I would really appreciate it if you did. I don't really have much to say for this outro, except for thanks for 20,000 subscribers. It's freaking awesome. I got the 20k Q&A either coming out this week or next Sunday. So be looking forward to that. So yeah, I hope all you guys are having an amazing day. I've been Lofi. Peace, peace.